Hello students, this is lesson U5A07B. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to say I can apply inverse sine cosine tangent to solve for angles and angles of depression and elevation. So in the target, as it suggests, okay, we have another terminology, okay, that we have not introduced yet. We have talked about sine, cosine, and tangent and solving for unknown angles, okay. However, we have not talked about this concept of angle of depression and elevation. As the name suggests, angle of elevation is how much we are going up by and we are going to measure an angle for. And the angle of depression is the, ang is the angle to which we are dipping below by. And we are always referencing this from some horizontal axes. So the angle of elevation is always going to be above the horizontal axes of the um, above the horizontal line which we are viewing from and then the angle of depression is going to be below that. With that in mind let's try to go over this first word problem. So it says here a cameraman is capturing the light of a hot air balloon. At a particular moment the hot air balloon is horizontal is horizontally positioned at 150 feet away and a hundred feet off the ground. The camera rests on a tripod three, foot, three feet off the ground, and our task is to find the angle of elevation of the balloon seen by the camera. So a couple of things here that we need to understand. I'm gonna switch over here. So we have the situation where we have a right triangle. Actually, pause the video to see if you can figure this out, because I think you have enough information here to, or actually enough to go by for you to figure this out on your own. So this, hopefully you guys had some time to think about this. This height over here, this is three. And since the hot air balloon is 100 feet, 150 feet off of the, off of the ground, I'm sorry, 100 feet off the ground and 150 feet away, this is going to be 150. And then this length over here is going to be 97. And the goal is to find out what is the angle of elevation. Right? Find the angle of elevation. That's this guy right here. So how are we going to do that? Well, looking at this right now, what I have is I have opposite and adjacent. I, 97 is opposite of the angle of elevation and 150 is adjacent to the angle of elevation. So therefore I can say tangent of theta is equal to 97 over 150. Or theta is equal to tangent, arc tangent of 97 over 150. And if I were to figure this out, I'll end up with theta equaling 33 degrees approximately. Let's take a look at the next problem. Pause the video to see if you can figure this out. So it says here a lighthouse shines a beam of light onto the ocean. The beam of light measures 500 feet. The lighthouse is 200 feet from sea level. Find the angle of depression of the beam of light and the distance the light is away from the foot of the lighthouse. In other words, we're looking for this horizontal distance there. Let's label the diagram. So here I have 200 feet, um, that's this entire li uh, length, and I have 500 feet, which is that the, of the uh, hypotenuse. So what I want to do to figure out the angle of depression, okay, immediately I know that this is going to be my angle of depression, and I have a right triangle in place. So if I were to... Um, label the 200 here, right? I immediately notice that 200 is opposite of theta. I also recognize the hypotenuse is going to be my 500. So because I have opposite to hypotenuse, I'm going to use sine. Sine of theta, therefore, is equal to 200 over 500, or theta is equal to arc sine of 200 over 500. Pop this into the calculator. I end up with the angle of depression being 24 degrees. So, we, however, that wasn't the uh, only thing that we needed to find. We also needed to find out what is the um, 
how far away is the beam of light away from the foot of the uh, of the lighthouse. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to help us with this. So I know that x squared plus 200 squared is equal to 500 squared. Subtract both sides by 500 squared and take the square root. I end up with x is approximately equal to 458. Okay, so this question is actually a regions question. Actually, all of these are actually based off of regions questions. So this is this one here is um, actually directly ripped off of the regions exam. Uh, so what we have here is uh, a ramp, and the ramp is um, on top of a set of steps. Pause the video to see if you can figure out what um, what this question is asking for. Hopefully you guys had some time to think about this, okay? Uh, we need to find the angle of elevation and the height of each step uh, based on the information that's given here. So I know, okay, that the, um, the, that the ramp is 13 feet long. I also know that the width of the, or the depth of the steps is two feet. That means each of these are gonna be two and two, okay? So that means all in total, this is going to be from beginning to end, okay? This is an additional four then, yes? Right? So from beginning to end, horizontally, there's, uh, horizontally the ramp is 12 feet long. The vertical here, okay, is unknown. But I can find out what that is easily by using Pythagorean theorem. And the other thing is I need to know what this is. So let's go through it. So I know that x is opposite of theta, and I know that 12 is adjacent to theta, and I know 13 is the hypotenuse. So if I say cosine of theta is equal to 12 over 13, because that's what this is, 12 over 13 adjacent over hypotenuse, I can then figure out what is the angle of elevation of the ramp. Theta is equal to 23 degrees. Next, I need to figure out what x is. And I can do this using the Pythagorean theorem. I know that x squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. But also, if you recognize that this is a Pythagorean triple, it should be recognized that this is actually equal to 5. So each step, if the total height here is 5, and there are three steps in place here, right? Or actually, uh, four steps, I need to divide by four. So therefore, each step is going to be 1.25 feet. 